How are we doing? We, I, haven't, I haven't done the bed, but I've come for the breakfast. Oh, as I just said, I was looking right. forward to it. I just, I'm overpowered here before we actually get in the door. Where or how? This is absolutely fantastic. And it's every year. Yeah. You're a leader in we trim when it comes to the landscape, yeah. but this is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So, so I'm a hospital case. Bring me into the old hospital. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're down doing an interview this morning with Geraldine um, in Highfield House in Trim. Um, Geraldine is a member of Trim Tourism Network. Uh, we work on an awful lot of projects together, and, and along with the, the other folk in Trim Tourism Network. But we're down here this morning to, to talk to Geraldine a little bit about Highfield House. It's a, it's a, from our part. A, it's been an iconic building in Trim for many, many years. Uh, Geraldine has, has taken uh, control of it back, I think it's in 1999. We talked to Geraldine a little bit about that uh, and turned it into the very successful Highfield House Business Week. We in here this morning uh, to talk to Geraldine a little bit about it. And one of the things that struck us when we were waiting to get set up was, uh, apart from Geraldine's uh, welcome to, 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 to the visitors and, and, and the really homely feeling uh, to, uh, about the place was the amount of repeat. It was a, it was not welcome. It was welcome back was the predominant words that we've heard it used several times here this morning when Geraldine was talking to visitors. Well, it's great to talk to you, Geraldine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How, How are, are you? you? Uh, we've also sampled your way up when we were waiting there. We had a beautiful breakfast at Highfield House without yeah. having to spend the night, <laughs> which in itself was a fantastic thing. Yeah. How long are you here, Geraldine? How yeah, we are here in nearly 18 years, actually. We bought the property, and my husband and I, Edward, and myself bought it in 1999. yeah. 1999, and you developed it into the business that had this Yeah, day. yeah. I was always in the hospitality business, so um, it was always my idea. I'd love to run a bread and breakfast, so actually um, the opportunity came, so we, we actually went from strength to strength, and our business is really... You know, our numbers are way up now, and Trim is a wonderful town. So, we are getting a lot of business from. Uh, and you're sending a lot of business too. Yeah. Right? Well, when we were waiting here this morning, I'm seeing people that were down in our restaurant oh, yeah, last night. Yeah. Uh, and I know that you send people down to all the restaurants all the in the town. The feedback yeah. we get back from all yeah. of the restaurants in Trim. And it's, it's a two way street. Uh, everybody everybody helps everybody, and that's predominant. I was speaking to one of the ladies here this morning, and she just thought the trim was such a hidden gem, gem. and it's a great thing there. But we've history, we've all got intertwined history here. I know my own partner Arla down there was born in that hallway over yeah. there, but this was a hospital. I talk, know. talk about making an entrance, born in the hallway. But I mean, this is it. And I know that you've got a very good eye for builders as well, because of my former life before I was in the restaurant business. That's right. Uh, but this amazing I built on room. this, this yeah. part on the back of the yeah. Which in itself was was, an which it was great point. to be involved in from our point of view yeah. because this building stands out head and shoulders above. But you've been also a pioneer, and you're get really getting the recognition now. To borrow a phrase from Michael Flatley, he said he was an overnight success after 20 years of hard work. You've put in hard work. You've been a leader in in the presentation of Highfield House with the flowers, the landscape, and the whole thing that is here. Yeah. It's been beautiful, and eventually you're getting some of the recognition that you're a long, long time yeah. overdue with in recent. Uh, this Irish uh, Hospitality yeah, Awards winner, yeah, Best was, Breakfast of the Year. It's uh, wonderful actually to win it, yeah. We were very honoured really to win to win the overall Midlands Award for the Bed and Breakfast. So um, it was... Well, it's a great achievement, yeah, great it achievement, is, but you're, yeah. you're very highly yeah. rated on TripAdvisor and all yeah. the things. Anybody Yeah, and have wonderful staff and we are all a great team here, so, you know, it, it makes, yeah. Well, it, 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 it's, a, it's a beautiful environment to be working in. Yeah. Um, so this was the old hospital. So you built on all of yeah. this on the back. We did two extensions, actually. We built over um, at one end, and then we did the second uh, extension in, in 1997. And uh, it turned out, and we did the courtyard as well, which would really it's, it's added one. a lot to the, to the property. So we have a lovely courtyard at the back. So we have for our guests that can sit out and if have a nice breeze house. Highfield so House was three times the size. I have no doubt that it will be full. Oh, probably oh, not, yeah, because we we ha we have to um, distribute a lot of other guests that's looking for accommodation to a lot of the other accommodation providers in the area. So it's nice to be able to spread them around and keep them in the air in the town. We also see that some of the people from the wider uh, areas, you, the, the influence and the reputation of Highfield House and Trim uh, is, is is becoming more and more international all the time. You've, we've had a recent visitor 
who is uh, one of the uh, ex uh, researchers and writers for for Rick Steves in America, yeah. who stayed with you and visited yeah. us That's later, right, recently yeah. as well. He, you he get these takes in a lot of he, like he's he's so famous like his uh, he has this uh, guidebook, so they just they, he has really good trim on the map because. They all come to trim on their first few nights and then maybe on their last few nights, you know, on their tour around Ireland. So we're very lucky. Where, is the most, where are your visitors coming from? They're mostly coming from North America and we have a lot of Europeans as well. Germans, um, Dutch, a lot of different Europeans. And uh, we probably could get more from the UK, but the UK is probably down in numbers this year. But possibly, yeah. but there is uncertain. It's uncertain yeah. times there at the moment, and hopefully that will that will that will uh, yeah. that improve. We get we get massive amount down from 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 the north of Ireland. Uh, yeah, uh, to the restaurant. To the restaurant. Yeah, and and, and through that because they see trim. Being, yeah, it's a really Irish. beautiful town. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of um, yeah. I see more you know couples coming to do an, a, you know an overnight or two in the town because it's beautiful walks, amazing history attached to the town and. Like you, that beautiful green area across the way, and it's just amazing with the river. And do you know, there's an increase in visitors. Oh, numbers. absolutely, yeah, amazing. The numbers yeah. are like it's like this year, we are actually totally booked up until the end of August, nearly. You know, that's then fantastic. we have a big, we have a few big festivals coming up, you know. So, one of those is our very own yeah. Salmon Knowledge Festival, the first one up this year, and you're involved in the core group uh, to help set up that festival. and, and and we only had a meeting last night about it. But That's I mean, right. These yeah. are all exciting times. Very exciting times, and it's a very like I'm very excited about this. The network we're all working very well together, and it's great for the town, especially for all our tourists and all people that comes into the town. We work very well, to, you know. To are people staying long enough in the town? They probably could stay longer. You know, we only have we have them maybe for one two nights. It's, it's great to get them for three nights. Now we have had people there this last last week that stayed. Uh, for full week, which was wonderful, mm. and I think maybe we we'll just have to get more word out there that you know, Trim is a destination for for the you know to cover the, the trail of the Boyne Valley mm. for three to four nights. So much, to, yeah. you know, to it's be, part of the Ireland's yeah. East thing, That's but there's right. enough lot more history, more and more exactly. recent history, and, and that we have. But, um, the Hill of Tower is on our doorstep, plus New Grange is only thirty minutes over the you know so. There is so much in the area, so. Well, we have the figures for Trim were just released right recently. The, the increase in visitor numbers in the last eight, yeah. twelve months from eighty six to one hundred one thousand. The Hill of Tara from uh, is increased by twenty six thousand to one hundred eighty six thousand. These are these figures are rising, and that yeah. I do know we get people to stay longer. One of the things I noticed from talking to a few of the people having breakfast here this morning and after staying the night uh, was that uh, Trim is a hidden gem. A hidden gem. Our job yeah. is to get it out there, and That's I think right. you know, it's not so hidden. <laughs> yeah, to get, get, it's get just to get more people to realise that there's so much to see in the area and that the beauty of the town and the, we have the fabulous river walk across the way which I was speaking to a couple there yesterday morning checking them out and they were just so amazed that when they were down on the river, you know, they were people were so friendly, they were chatting to people and with the, you know, we had such amazing, um, um, just to walk around Newtown was you know, there's so much to. to well, we see, I see there, like because one of the things that Trim is is noted for uh, among locals, but it's only now becoming evident to everybody else. Is everybody has a welcome for everybody else? There's, yeah. it's it's an old market town where people yeah. still know each other That's and, right. and welcome everybody, and everybody. old and new, uh, in, into the town, and we're proud of its heritage, and we've had a, a history of people in the town who took it upon themselves to preserve the natural beauty of the porch fields yeah. and keep it as part of for people up. to meet and talk and walk their dogs and, and have yeah. sports and that. So, and that's right outside your window. Yeah, we're just but across the way. And then we also have the beautiful, famous donkeys, you know. The donkeys? The donkeys, and there are little pets in the town. So, that, you know, our tourists or our people that come into the town just will have just... You well, know, that's the beauty of this. So, so folks come to Tremont and yeah. talk to the donkeys. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> what's the story with these donkeys? They're all little individuals, I understand. Yeah. They're, they're, they all the have their their little, they're, they're, they're all, they're, they're all have their own names and all, so they're, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're like people to come and greet them. 
fair enough. So yeah. if you come to Tim, don't forget to say hello to the dog piece outside High Food House. Uh, you're in a fantastic position. Yeah, it's, it's one of the is, easiest yeah. places to describe for people to come to. When you come yeah. into Trim, there's a roundabout there, and towering over it, on one side is Trim Castle, and on the other yeah. side is Highfield House, with Geraldine waving out the top window, come on in, the time is right. <laughs> it is, you couldn't yeah. be in a better location. I know, the location is fantastic, because people can just drive up, park their car, and then head up, uh, up into town and stroll around, and you know, it's so close to, the, to everything, and yeah. everything is walkable, so that's all people like when they come from you know a long journey from Connemara or from mm. Kerry or wherever they just love just to drive up mm. and just park the car and they're free for the afternoon or you know just to stroll around the town and then maybe have a nice beer and, and down in when they go down for the river walk to you know in the not nice old pub down there in Marsh Marsh Regan's. Regan's, it's an iconic yeah landmark. which is so nice landmark. Yeah, well, and and with no shortage of, of great then, great pubs. And absolutely, and then we have you know great mu traditional yeah. music on and pizza so many nights a week up in Griffin's Bar and, Griffin's and, bar and yeah, then we have other bars we have Brogan's across the I way and house, then we have the Cormix and all the, there's so many oh, more so bars. Many, just got, yeah, yeah Kylie's, they're all iconic yeah. glitches. Exactly, it's just yeah. it's, it's amazing like, the, what we have in the town. When I was building this, when I was involved in the building, well, not many years ago. Since yeah, ninety seven says ten years. Is it? It's 10 years. 97. 2007. 2007. 2007. Yeah, yeah. And I remember at the time you were talking about it and running, but there's so much things we could do in the town to promote tourism. Now you're after, you've decided to own that. You've joined yeah. like this group, uh, Trim Tourism Network, uh, and decided, well, listen, we're going to be masters of our own destiny here and exactly. we're, going to, we're going to promote this town ourselves. Yeah, ourselves. And everything. And so, I mean, are you excited about that? So here? excited, and it's working so well, and we have a wonderful uh, network, of a group in our, in our network, and they, we all are working. We meet uh, on a very regular basis, like once a week or maybe once a fortnight, and we all are able to, because we're all in, a lot of us are all in, have our own business and we're Stronger, we're, yeah. stronger we are together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's the message so that we're trying to get, trying out, to there. get out there. And that, yeah. but we, but we ha it's an easy message to sell when we have uh, businesses mm -hmm. and, 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 and locations and landmarks like Highfield House starting to get serious recognition at the moment. Uh, it, it's onwards and upwards. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, if you had to spend yeah. three times the size, you could fill it. At Probably, a, yeah. And the people yeah. coming back will always come yeah, back. Yeah, we have a lot of repeat business, which is great. And word of mouth, like, you know, we have, they're leaving, checking out of Highfield House and heading down to, or to, from Trim and heading down to Kerry or Connemara mm -hmm. or whatever. And they're all, you know, blown away by the beauty of Trim. So that's what it's all about. You people know. don't realise yeah. that Trim was the a, trim. a fantastic attraction as a hub for people to stay in to go out and visit all of these yeah. attractions in uh, not just the Boyne Valley Drive uh, and the Ireland's Ancient East, uh, there's more recent history and there's other things. We went uh, down to Kilbegan uh, Whiskey Distillery a couple yeah. of weeks ago, there's the Royal Mead Military Museum up at Collin. These are all short That's distance. Right. These they're are all on, on our doorstep. On yeah. our doorstep, yeah. so there's enough and of stuff. Yeah, we have Theatre Park as well, and then we have the Boyne Valley activities. James and his crew yeah. down there are doing an amazing job yeah. just on the river. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about using the river to, to its yeah. best advantage and the people that are enjoying that is something that's else. Right, yeah. And that's exciting times for yeah. that too. So folks, we come to a close for, in our discussion with, 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 with Jardine. And as you can see, uh, we have a hidden gem within a hidden gem here in Trim. And we wish you the very oh, best of luck on so forward. Thank you so much, Michael. It was a pleasure.